hello guys uh, welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for this coming out here may god bless you all Obas san to not an others via friend agitation we die naturally like niger data agitation if peter Obi becomes president in 2023 Obas san to not an others via friend agitation we die naturally like Niger Delta agitation, if Peter Obi becomes the next president of Nigeria. And these have generated reactions from Nigerians. Let's hear them out. The first person I have here said, they even love the killings going on when they are holding all the key position. INEC must tell the exact population of the North because a lot of killings have taken place there. Or does the killing increase them? Anybody that loves this country must work towards salvation of the land and not being sentimental. Let the agitation continue, please. Maybe it will help us as a country after all. The so-called agitation is dead already. PVC and Peter Obi has replaced their Namdi Kano. After all the destruction of government properties and killing of our security operatives, God will judge them all. Nigeria will be the one to die. God is about to destroy Nigeria with no mercy. Nigeria, you see today, we, you will see her no more. These are reactions by Nigerians and they keep on talking. Hypocrisy is a disease. Trying to craftily exonerate himself. It is not an edas that gives presidency. They ask. Who wants Biafra to die? Let them continue sitting at home and killing themselves. Who cares? And we much like Biafra than to vote for IPOP sympathizers. I will assure you that Conquest won't get the average vote of Obi, Peter Obi. It seems you don't know what is going on in this country. How can you say he should have the popularized Conquest you? When a Nortana just finished eight years and another Nortana, you will be surprised. Well, I don't know where this one is coming from. And APC will also die in Nigeria naturally when Peter Obi becomes president. Let the agitation continue. Osi Branjo, we already know your logic. You are enemy of the North and Islam entirely. You will never achieve what you want to achieve. Whoa. The Oracle has spoken. Sunday Bible supporters will not believe with Baba because Peter Obi is the creator of Biafra and the major sponsor. Let the, let the agitation continue. Obi cannot win. Hmm. If there is peace, equity, and justice, who we architect for Biafra? So I believe Obar Senjo is not a fool but a leader. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians, as you can see. So many people are just, this one has this one is saying this one, this one is saying that, and all that. What Obasanjo is trying to say here is that if Peter would be becomes the next president of this country, that naturally Biafra agitation is going to die. That is his own opinion. Record that there is agitation in the southeast region. This is beheaded by their leader, Mazin Namdekano, the, the indigenous people of Biafra's leader, who is in DSS custody currently. They are agitating for their own nation. That is Biafra nation. They said they are no longer interested in Nigeria. They want to have their own nation. But what? If you look at what Osibanjo is saying, now one will not ask you yourself, why are they agitating? They are agitating because they feel they are being satellite by the Nigerian government. You understand? They are being neglected. They are being cut off from the government. That is why they are agitating for their own nation. As in, if you want to say, we did together. Why if not they make us feel belong? You understand? We just did here, but we not did it now. We not, not they carry us along. That is their grievances. But the truth is that Nigerian government did not manage the agitation in the southeast very well. It was managed 
poorly. And they keep on making the mistake all over, over and over again. Even in Nigerian constitution, it's not against agitation. You understand? These people, everybody have the right to agitate when you see that things are not working in your way. Things are not working the way it's supposed to be. You can agitate. That is why we are in a democracy. You can you have the freedom of speech. You can you can say the I don't like this. This is how this is supposed to be. And it's not left for the government to do the need for. The only thing Nigerian government, what they are doing here is that they don't even care to look into the plight of these people. Why are they agitating? Look to the root. Just check what they make these people they agitate and get it settled and see whether the agitations will keep on. You understand? Or Sibanjor is now uh, giving an example for what's happening in Niger Delta. You know, well, if you can recall what happened in Niger Delta when they agitated and all that, those people were giving amnesty and all that. As the Nigerian government now said to them, as they said to them, may I just take them like that, as they said to them, everything calmed down. So I believe what Osiba and or Basanjo is trying to say here is that maybe if a Southeasterner, who is now already on the race, Peter Ubi becomes the next president of Nigeria. Maybe that will calm down agitations from the southeast. But this is not left for the agitators to decide. That is the truth. It's not left for the agitators to decide. So if our person becomes the next president, so does it mean we are going to drop our agitations or we are going to continue? So Wahala we'll plenty. Now be the truth. Wahala we'll plenty. True, true, we say so many things go wrong so many things go wrong so many people i don't want to go that side you understand it's going to be difficult anyway but now god last last now you get the final say i'm dropping it here guys kindly share your thoughts below the comment section thank you very much for this coming out here bye for now